Following the Islamic Revolution of 1979, Iran's Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Rohollah Khomeini, established the SEPA, a new Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps responsible for protecting the revolution, enforcing Islamic morality, and preventing deviant religious and political movements from gaining strength. Today, in efforts to maintain control, the government severely restricts the people's access to information. Still, over 70% of Iranians have illegally installed satellite TV in their homes. SEPA intelligence forces, accountable only to Iran's supreme leader, are responsible for hundreds of thousands of low-profile raids on homes to remove satellite dishes and uproot underground Christian church movements. Muslim converts can be found guilty of apostasy, which is punishable by death. Are we running the network here from Pastor Ali's home now? He thinks here is safer. Fewer neighbors. How many of you are there in Karaj? We have four groups, but there are others we don't know about. Mine has nine people. And you have no New Testament? We share one from the group nearest to us. Do you go back today to Karaj? Yes, we have a meeting tonight. This is my brother I was telling you about. Please pray for him at your meetings. We will. God bless you, Zara. God bless you too. Who was that? Mina from the Carriage Underground Network. She came to get the New Testaments. How do you know her? Ali, I have known her for years. Hmm. What, what is going on? Something happened in Shiraz. My pen drive, do you have it? No. Ali, what's going on? The SEPA. They... They invaded 50 churches in Meshed and Shiraz. Hundreds are being arrested. What? How? Somebody, I think, look. The viewers come into the channel if they want to find out more about the message. And the station connects them with underground church leaders. One of them must have trusted someone new. Here, someone called in two weeks ago from Shiraz. They will be tortured to give names of other Christians in the network. And then, 
force them to accept the false charges of drug trafficking or conspiracy against the state. I think they, they have Rossini. He is the regional leader of the network in Shiraz. So you need to pray that he doesn't speak. He knows names, he knows addresses of the entire network. I know someone who can get information. Who? Someone who can help. Zahra, tell me who it is. You don't need to know. Zahra, you need to tell me who it is. The church is bigger than just you, Ali. Yes. Salam. Oh, my sister, what a good surprise to see you here. If my brother wasn't so important, maybe he would have time to visit me at my home. If my sister wasn't so modern, maybe she would still be at our home. You are just like him. Well, coming from your mouth, I don't know if that's a good thing. You never respected our father. And you put your personal interests before those of our country and our family. I made mistakes. I have changed them. Really? I came because... And you stopped thinking only of yourself? Yes, and now I want to help change Iran. Revolution changed Iran. Our father helped bring the revolution. The revolution imprisoned Iran and our people, Amir. You must help set our people free. You're wrong, Zahra. The revolution has freed our people. And my greatest desire is to see our people live free. Only free access to the truth can set us free, Amir. The truth? I'm not here to talk about this. Yes. Let's go, Sahara. We'll talk later.
that have taught you that God is a God of violence, that's a false God. Because our God forgives us. He asks us to forgive others. Our God loves us and He asks us to love others. And even our enemies, He gives us the power to forgive those who persecute us, those who are against us, those who kill us. We love our enemies. When you become a Christian, that's not the end. That's the beginning. Because together with God, with the Word of God, we can transform Iran. We can transform the future of Iran. You're called, you're called by God to change people's lives. So you will be an agent of transformation. God wants every Christian, especially in Iran, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be equipped with the Word Salam, of God, Salam. and be an agent of transformation. Amir, what are you doing? What are you doing, Zara? Why are you in my house? Is my sister an infidel? Who is this man? What I do you really believe these imperialist lies? Don't you know who I am? What? Are you going to arrest me? Like the people you tried to arrest in Karaj? You betrayed my trust. You could get us both sent to prison. Those people have done nothing wrong, Yamir. Do you know what they do to prisoners charged with conspiracy against the state, Zahra? I don't fear them, Amir. I don't fear death. I don't fear man. I fear God. You don't fear I mean, God. And you, you do. You naively believe everything you watch on TV. And you know everything the regime tells you, but you know they are corrupt. You know the charges they give are false. The Sepa imprisons and tortures innocent people. The I mean, you Sepa cannot say you do not know it. Our country from our enemies, such as the Mujahideen who killed our father. I used to spend every night wishing that a bomb would blow them to pieces. But you know what? They use the same holy book as our father. The Mujahideen, the Shias, the Sunnis, they will never stop fighting each other. I have changed. I am done. And the hate for my enemies is gone. Those innocent people the Sepa throws in the prison believe the same as I do. And you know they are innocent. Forgive me for all the and he's helping many people. And if you knew what he and I do, you would too. In Iran, this is a promise that he will do it. He's the only hope. The only one who can change Iran is Jesus Christ because he changes hearts. There is no hope in religion. Yes. No, no need to come. I'm handling the situation myself. I gotta go. Are you watching my friends? No, um, I, uh, what? Look, if you're going to watch us, you need to at least understand. We are discussing this today.
Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with God. It's an intimate relationship with God. Religion cannot do anything for you. Bring him in. Yes. He's here. You may sit down. Ali Isfahani? Yes. Do you know who I am and why you're here? No. I mean, yes. You are the, the regional commander. Is, is that a problem? It's been a while that I've been monitoring you and your personal life. How do you know Zara? Zahra? Who? I mean, I know several Zahras. Zahra, who works with you. She's my sister. Do you have a license for the satellite TV installations on your home? I... Do you know the penalty for organizing unauthorized secret religious gatherings? I have sufficient reasons to believe that you're leading an illegal religious movement with goals of toppling the Islamic government of Iran. And I have orders to shut down your movement, which exploits vulnerable people such as Zahra. But I don't want to do this. Let's talk, Ali. Zahra is a very dedicated, courageous, selfless woman, Ali. She wasn't always this way. I've seen something different in her. She's so free now. I have everything a man could want, Ali, but... I have begun studying about your faith. Zahra gave me this New Testament. And I have watched the Christian channel. What does a man like me have to do to become a Christian? Nothing, sir. Nothing. You do. Can make you free. Do you believe this is true? Just simply trust in what he says. Okay. And what next? How about come to our house church? I can I can teach you the Bible. No. I will not come. But you will come here every week to teach me the Bible. And if you don't, I'll have to send for you. I will be glad to come. Also, um, relocate your meetings to Zahra's house. There you'll be safe. And check with me before admitting any new members. And sorry for having to bring you in this way, Ali. 
we must be very careful. And this must be properly dealt with. Olá, meu nome é Marcelo, sou diretor do CEPA. Eu sou J.C. André, diretor de fotografia e arte do CEPA. Este filme foi produzido junto com nossos irmãos iranianos do Iran Alive. E o que está acontecendo no Irã é muito real. E apesar de sofrer perseguição extrema, Irã é o país em que o cristianismo mais cresce. Nós estamos desenvolvendo novos projetos junto com nossos irmãos em países perseguidos para que eles possam ter esperança, alegria e paz. A Luz em Ação é uma organização sem fins lucrativos. Todos nós somos voluntários. E você também pode participar com tudo isso. Faça uma contribuição. Mesmo se for pouco, vai nos ajudar realmente a produzir novos filmes. Ou pode se tornar um parceiro mensal. Clique no link na descrição desse vídeo. Juntos podemos trabalhar para a transformação de vidas.